morning, everybody, and thank you for coming. We, the Association of Non-Governmental Organization, Tango, call up for this press conference to express our concern on the deteriorating relationship between government and its citizens. Recent developments has definitely raised alarm, particularly in what appears to be the shrinking civic space. Considerable threats against fundamental freedoms, such as that of expression and divergence of political views and the respect of the rule of law, appears to be on the decline. The democracy and freedom that the Gambian people fought for to the extent of some losing their lives in the process, we jealously guard. These fundamental freedoms are not ne negotiable and civil society protects it. Considering how far we have gone as a nation, democratic backsliding is not acceptable by anyone, let alone the civil society. As a nation, Rule of law must guide our actions. Section 19 of the 1997 Constitution has made it clear, absolutely clear that every individual's rights to personal liberty is guaranteed. We want to use this opportunity to call on the Attorney General and the Minister of Justice, the Ministry for the Interior, Inspector General of Police, a National Assembly Select Committee on Human Rights to step up to the table and perform their duty to uphold the rights and ensure the safety of the people they are charged to protect. To conclude, we reiterate our call for judicial reform as there are many loopholes in our criminal justice system. The issue of arrest and detention without probable cause should be seriously looked at, looked into as there are instances of it more so to be released on bail while there are no charges made against the people. We still call for the implementation of this security sector reform in all facets. Critical reforms are needed in this sector to ensure human-centered security in this country instead of state-centered security. We as civil society categorically make it clear that we will continue to safeguard the right of the people and will not let the Gambia plunge into authoritarian rule. We thank you. Thank you very much, Ma. Uh, she reiterated civil society's commitment in promoting and, and advancing human rights in this country. I just want to briefly add that the government should know that government is the primary duty bearer when it comes to protection and promotion of human rights in any country, and Gambia included. I also want to remind all of us together from her statement that indeed recent developments in our country, no doubt, raise concerns about how genuine our government is with regards to the reforms that she mentioned. At this juncture, I would like to use this opportunity personally to draw the attention of the international community to what seems to be seemingly shrinking space in our country. The issues of Madi, for instance, our colleagues in the civil society, I must mention names. Madi, for instance, Alaji Bora, these are all our fellow citizens in this country. What happens to them is undone. It could happen to any one of us. It's about human rights. Touch one, touch all. At this stage, I want to invite questions from the members of the press. We have all CSO leaders here who are present. Anyone who, is, who, who has an answer will definitely respond to anything that you want to say. The floor is open. Yes. Yes. Whether 
apart from issuing statements, whether you have any other plan statements, because we have seen statements being issued here and there, and no action is being taken by the government. Now, whether you have other plans is the question. Thank you. Ma, you want to respond? Sure. Yes, uh, thank you for that question. Yes, um, civil society, as you might know, we have been having a series of meetings. So we are making our plans and we have strategies, which will, we will inform as time goes on, as they are developed. Well, we have um, different, uh, we have our long-term strategy, short-term strategy, so like this press conference is one of them, and you, as time goes on, you will see what we are planning. Thank you. You want to add something, Mr. Gomez? Yes, sure, sir. please. Thank you very much yeah, to the media. Uh, Mr. Gomez, Mr. Gomez, one at a time. Can you come to the podium? Yes, one at a time. Uh, thank you. We want to seize this opportunity to thank the media uh, to come and answer to this uh, press conference, our call to this press conference. Just to add on what uh, Madam Chair is, was saying, we, one of the strategies is really to meet those who matter in terms of, uh, number one, meet with, have a meeting with the IGP, the Minister of Interior, the Attorney General's chambers, at least go and meet some people, at least to discuss some of uh, the issues, engage them, have a dialogue with them. Because we feel uh, having a dialogue with some people responsible in this country can also maybe uh, pay dividend. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Gomez. By the way, Mr. Gomez is the Vice Chair of the Board of Tango. You have something to say? Sure. Yeah, Mamba Buso from Yafsi, one of the lo oldest local NGOs. Uh, one thing I just want to protest on the chair chairperson's statement, that we and government, we are partners in development. We complement government efforts. True, government is the number one duty bearer, but we also, CSOs, we also have a role to play in democracy, in fostering good governance, we have to go along with government so that there is peace, there is democracy, there is human rights. That's the role of civil society, to complement government effort. We are no enemies. We have to make sure that what we have achieved is nurtured, as he rightly said. Nurturing democracy, nurturing peace, it needs all hands on deck so that we can achieve our objective. We have seen the, the, the sub-region being in turmoil. We have seen wars taking place all over the, all, all over the continent. So we have to be very mindful Gambia is the safe haven of the sub-region. We have seen that. We have seen the amount of refugees coming into our country. So being the case, let us not your peace and democracy. Yes, we have our strategy, but we cannot disclose all our strategies. We are moving towards the, 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 the state. We will sit with them, because we are not enemies. We are partners in development. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, yes, sir, please. please. Hello, um, good morning everybody. My name is Demba Jao. I'm sure most of you know me. Anyway, um, as you may be aware, I was recently elected as the chairman of the Victim Center. For that reason, you know, we know that we've already got a lot of victims in this country during the Jami era. In fact, I, I always say more than half of Ga the, the population of the Gambia were victims of Jami. But a few of those victims decided to come together to form the Victim Center. And uh, we cannot afford to have more victims. Definitely, that's what, not what we expected. When we came out under the hot sun in 2016 to vote for President Barrow, we didn't expect definitely for him to become another Yaya Jami. So let's um, be very, very resolute. As far as civil society is concerned, let's ensure that you know, the democratic space that we fought so hard to achieve will definitely not let it, let it go. We will definitely never allow that because, I mean, uh, we Gambians were very, very um, uh, complacent during the Jami era. Gradually, he became a monster, and we allowed him to. But I can assure President Barrow and the members of the, his government that Gambian, um, Gambians will never, never allow that to happen again. So let us be quite resolute, and I thank you very much for the attention. Thank you very much, DA. The message is very clear. Gambians will never allow dictatorship to come back to this country. Thanks, Dan.
president's statement. Because the president came out, the president office came out with a statement pretty much trying to set the context of what they were saying. What is your position as civil society with regards to what the president has said? Do you agree with him in his statement that is pretty much there's nothing, there's no fuss regarding you know, what he said? Thank you. Thank you, Flash. Ma? Uh, have, have you seen the president's statement? The press release, yes. yes mm -hmm. What is your reaction? Our reaction is, um, just like our statement said, we, uh, we, we are watching what's happening and we are not going to accept any backsliding. That's what we, our re re reaction is. Anybody else wants to say? Thank you, Ma. Yes. One more or few more questions? Yes. Somebody else? Yes. Your media house and your name? Yes. My name is uh -huh. Okay. Um, in terms of, um, when do you think there was a delay in this press conference? Because I think we should have come earlier when the president made that statement. We didn't have anything from Canada until now. What was keeping Canada from coming out? There was a statement. I'm sure you must have missed the statement. We had a statement immediately after. Immediately after we had a statement. And then, of course, um, this is an organization, and so we have to meet. We have to have everybody agree on our next steps, like I said. Um, the press conference is one of the strategies that um, we were fulfilling. But statement came right away uh, to answer. Shani Jang, uh, mm -hmm. uh, if I may ask, I heard you saying, one of your students saying that you'll be having dialogue with the, with the relevant stakeholders, the IGP, and then the, the Attorney General General. Now, what is your set objective on that dialogue, and what do you aim to achieve from that dialogue? What would be your next step aside from the dialogue? So, um, like um, Mr. Gomez said, um, dialogue is w w the short, the short term that we've been looking at, and we ach we hope to achieve when we have the dialogue. We hope to achieve that um, we understanding that these things were, are not acceptable by not just civil society but the the, the nation as at large. So we hope that they will address these things and reset the um, whatever is happening. But um, if that doesn't work, we will take it, take the next step whenever possible. No, we we, we cannot. I cannot. He's <laughs> political appointed, but also he has to follow the constitution of the Gambia, and um, so we have to remind them that we live by the constitution of the Gambia. Any more question? Final? Final? Is that the final question? Okay, right. Keva answer yes. Yes, go ahead. Thank you very much. I wanted to ask, because we have seen the president using this platform to now raise a victim to the person of the Nogai, the late Nogai Jai. So I would like to know Um, maybe I, I, I do not understand your question very well. What I'm trying to say, we are mm -hmm. interested in you know, trying to you know, downgrade the Nogai Jai. Mm -hmm. In fact, reduce to you know, call her by names that you know, that this is that person who died. So, like, he's trying to reduce him. I wanted to know whether you, know, you are concerned with this because if this is knowing what transpired in the Gambia and what these people went to, if the president is reducing those people in public, whether you are concerned about that as the head of the victim? Well, of course, of course, we are definitely very much concerned about any attempt, you know, to uh, kind of belittle the, the, the victims because we all know what they have gone through. We are aware of, I mean, how some people paid for it, 
I mean, with their lives, some people with, paid for with their limbs, you know, and um, it's so serious. So we expect everybody to have a lot of respect for the victims. And as I said, we do not want to have any more victims, you know, definitely. And uh, as we said again, you know, President Jame used that platform. And uh, the platform he used was the GRTS, which is, which is media, I mean, uh, um, the public service broadcaster, which belongs to all Gambians. So if he uses the GRTS, and, you know, the people he is actually castigating on GRTS have no right to respond to the GRTS. I think that's very, I mean, unfair and it's very unethical. So, I, I, you know, I expected the GRTS to take, you know, their responsibility. And I am sure that they give um, um, equal opportunity to all Gambians, but definitely not one side. You know, if it is a political uh, speech that President Barrow is uh, supposed to, or he's, I mean, having a political rally, as this, I mean, as it happens in Senegal, when Macky Sall is having a purely political event, he goes to hire an other television station, not, he doesn't use RTS because that belongs to all Senegalese. And that's the case with the Gambia. I think we, we expect President Barrow to also go and pay another television and use his political speeches there, but definitely not in a medium which belongs to every Gambian. So I think, you know, all these issues, we are very much concerned, and I think civil society should take its position on these issues and uh, show President Barrow that he didn't give us democracy. We fought for it. We all fought for democracy. I mean, so that's the reality. Thanks. Thank you, DA. Um, Ma, do you have something to add? Okay. So, uh, on that note, we just want to thank uh, members of the press for attending this very important press conference and all the civil society organizations here present, especially our senior ones. Uh, we thank all of you for coming, despite your busy schedules. Uh, the, the struggle continues to liberate this country. Thank you very much for coming.